Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the Linux operating system. Uh, we'll be talking about what is the Linux operating system and why the average user should not use it. That's right. Now videos I have done in the past stirred a lot of controversy and arguments over this topic down in the comments. Videos such as Windows 10 is dying and can I upgrade my computer to Windows 11? Many users were very upset to hear that Windows 10 was going end of life and that we were recommending getting off of it. Um, in fact, anybody in the tech world who respects your safety is going to tell you to go ahead and stop using Windows 10 when the end of life comes. Um, but also for a lot of many users, that was very upsetting to hear, right? The fact that you might have to move away from Windows 10. And a lot of the comments talked about using Linux or promoting Linux as if that was something that was a valid option for Windows users to move over to. Now, before we go any further, I just want to say I do use Linux, so don't think this video is a Linux hate video. In fact, I've enjoyed using the different uh, Linux distributions that I've used. I've used Python programming on Ubuntu. Uh, that's actually where I learned a lot of my Python programming and have been getting into Python programming was, was on my Linux machine. I did this because Ubuntu had a lot of built-in tools and a lot of different software that I wanted to try for Python programming specifically, and it worked out really well. In addition to that, when I was doing system penetration experiments, Arch Linux was my best friend, and I used it quite a bit. In addition to Kali Linux, uh, both Kali and Arch wound up being very useful uh, tools to me because of the built-in software that was already there with the operating system. However, our channel is one here to educate um, and design to help those who want to grow their tech knowledge because they maybe don't have a lot or they're not very tech savvy. OK, and number two, this channel is a tool for our members. And we here at My Computer Works expect that if you come to My Computer Works for help and you sign up for our tech service, that you're probably not a tech guru yourself. That's why you came to us. So now that my disclaimer is out of the way, I don't hate Linux, uh, but let's jump into why I don't think that the average user, especially not the members here at My Computer Works, should consider using it. So, uh, so, so Linux, what is Linux? Let's start with that. So Linux is the operating system or another operating system just like Windows or Mac, okay? Now, an operating system is the software that manages a computer's functions, resources, and allows you to do all the stuff you love to do. So. If if you uh, so it doesn't have an icon, right? So to so put this, I want people to understand the operating system. It's not like an icon on your computer. OK, it just is the software that encompasses kind of the whole thing. All right. So it's always running in the background. As soon as you turn the computer on and you see it boot up and go into the Windows user interface or the Mac user interface, you're using it. That is the operating system. You're there. You're already making it happen. OK, so anytime you click and open something, for example, like on Windows operating system, let's say you open the Word program. Well, the operating system is what makes that happen, what makes you, you know, makes it function, makes it pop up, all the things that it has to do. The operating system is pro um, responsible for all those functions that makes, again, the computer what it is. Without an operating system, the computer wouldn't function properly and you definitely wouldn't be able to do this stuff that you do or you wouldn't be seeing any of the stuff you're used to seeing, okay? So Linux is just another version of that, another operating system, just like Mac or Windows, but it's its own thing, okay? And just like Mac or Windows has multiple versions, Linux has distributions, okay? Now, some of these are great for very specific purposes, okay? Uh, earlier, I mentioned Ubuntu had a lot of great tools for Python programming. Um, Linux, Arch Linux, and Kali Linux are great for system penetration testers or anybody who's looking to get into the security field, okay? They come with a lot of built-in tools and software already there to help you do that. So unlike on your Windows computer, you don't have to go and install all that stuff. Um, it's already it's already there. There are some specific tools for those things like Python programming and system penetration testing that are involved with Linux. But again, the things I'm talking about are pretty advanced stuff. If you're Python programming and you're doing system penetration testing, you're not the average user, okay? You are a power user, which is completely different, okay? So for the average user, Linux is just not a realistic option, okay? Let's talk about all the reasons an average user would not want to use the Linux operating system, okay? So for one, the interface in Linux is not as user-friendly, especially for people who, again, are not tech uh, gurus or tech savvy. If you find yourself already getting lost on the Windows 
operating system, Linux is definitely not going to be for you, okay? Updating in Linux is not as simple as just going to settings and updating like in Windows. A lot of the tasks on the computer are not self-automated. Rather, you have to open up a command line and tell the computer what you want to do with bash script, okay? And that means a lot of learning. You need to learn that bash script or you need to at least be willing to go look these things up every time you need to do them. And that can turn into be a lot of steps that you don't have to do in the Windows operating system, okay? I know sometimes I've heard the comments, Windows doesn't feel like it was meant for the average user, but you hop over to Linux and you're gonna figure out real quick just how easy it is to use Windows compared to Linux, okay? It is astronomically easier. Everything inside of Windows, pretty much all of the processes that you're used to having be done for you on Linux, you are now going to have to do yourself from the command line with bash script, okay? Again, for power users, that's not a big deal. We love going online and learning all kinds of new code and new scripts and different things to, to run and become better power users. That is not the average user. The average user does not care about those things. They wanna get on their computer and they want their computer to do what it's supposed to do. On Linux, that's not gonna happen unless you make it happen. So again, average user, not gonna have a fun time on Linux just because of the way it operates. On top of that, you're gonna run into compatibility issues and you're not gonna be able to use some of the software and programs you're familiar with on Windows or Mac. I can think of a personal example of this, a prime personal example of this. Um, I have a Linux machine and I use Windows a lot. I use virtual machines in Windows a lot. I tried to install a virtual machine onto my Linux computer and it was a pain. Uh, again, it wasn't one of the ones that primarily you're supposed to use a virtual machine, but you can. Now, it's not to say I didn't eventually get it working, but it was a it's a perfect example for what I'm talking about. It took me hours on Linux. I had to go look up all these different bash scripts and run a bunch of stuff out of my command line, make a bunch of changes, fix this, fix that, boom, boom, you know, all these different things where it's just like, oh my gosh, on, on Windows, I downloaded it, I installed it, I set up my virtual machine and bam, it worked. Um, games, another great example. If you're a gamer and you want a game on Linux, good luck. You're gonna have to go through the Steam catalog for Linux specific games. And you're not going to have a fun time finding out that a whole bunch of your games are not going to run on Linux operating system. Now, they're trying to fix that compatibility as time goes on. But at the end of the day, Microsoft is the gaming company out there. I mean, they own Xbox. They made Xbox. Xbox is rooted. It's already there on the operating system now. Even if you're a PlayStation player, whatever, you're just going to find that you're able to play all these games that you love on Windows operating system because Windows is the gaming operating system. It just is. And games aside, things like Microsoft Office, you can make it run on Linux. But again, you have to make it run on Linux. It's not native. It's not just going to be an easy thing. And you're going to run into issues as time goes on that again, Send you back to the command line, putting in more bash script, trying to figure out how to fix issues. OK, again, for Guys like me or power users out there who like that stuff, that's great. We love tackling that. But if you are the average user, you're not tech savvy, you're not a tech guru, you just like to get on your computer and you know how to do the things that you do on the computer, which is maybe your business or just using it for everyday home use, you're not going to want to spend hours at a time trying to figure out how do I make this computer work like a Windows computer. Not a good time, okay? So at the bottom, oh, and you know what? I almost forgot one of the biggest things, support. Support for the Linux operating system is mostly all online. Companies like My Computer Works, we don't support Linux machines. We don't help with Linux machines. And so you're gonna be you're gonna be kind of on your own. So if you wanna go down that road and uh, you wanna be a power user and you don't want any kind of help and you can figure out everything you need to figure out on computers on your own, go by all means, go be a power user, go find it. However, down in our comments, um, we don't want to see it, okay? We're here for people using the Mac operating system. We're here for people using the Windows operating system, Android, iOS. So, you know, if you have an Apple device, an Android device, Windows computer, Mac computer, great. That's what we do. We focus on those operating systems because guess what? They have the largest market share and they have the lot for, for average users anyway. Um, and there's a reason for that. So if you're looking for help and tips on any of the above mentioned Apple, Android, Windows, you know, devices, we got you covered. Definitely follow the channel. And even if you are a Linux user, that's great. Follow along as well. You never know what you might learn and we love having you anyway. So, but for our average user, again, 
I'm not going to recommend you swap over to Linux anytime soon. Keep using Windows operating system. And when the end of life for Windows 10 comes next year, think about moving over to Windows 11 strongly, strongly. You're going to need to, uh, you need to think about that. And it's, it's not, there's nothing wrong with Windows 11. As I've said in my past videos, I've been using it. Um, they've run into issues that come with new operating systems and that's going to happen. Uh, but they are fixing it up and it's not a bad operating system at the end of the day. So, uh, if you like this video, please hit the like and, uh, share below, um, subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment if you'd like. Thank you everyone and have a great day.